kind of the redesigned biomes in the nether. I gotta say, this biome has to be my new favourite. Well, isn't that disappointing? There we go. <laughs> yeah, so cherry blossoms. Man, it's just the atmosphere along with like these new petals. It's just great. This has got to be one of the prettiest biomes that they've added. Just the contrast between the pink and obviously whatever biome that it's it's taking root in. So I think this should just be a normal plains meadow rights or mountain whatever. Anyway, it's just gorgeous. And of course with it comes new blocks. So what blocks do we have to play around with? Well, we've got pink petals, just a wonderful decoration. I honestly wish they'd add more of these little floral changes to some of the other trees. I know there's there's tons of mods out there that do it, that add just so much fauna and flora, but Mojang doesn't have to go overboard with it. Just, you know, one little petal block like this, and then this little particle effect, and every tree would just be so dynamic. But what blocks do we have? Well, we've got all the cherry wood blocks. So nice pink and a slightly dark, I want to say purplish mahogany type of color. Definitely nice. I can't say I, I can see much use myself for the pink, uh, just because pink doesn't really blend with a lot of, you know, harder colors as well, but by itself, it's, it's gorgeous. So we've got cherry logs, cherry wood, of course, stripped, stripped, and then planks like usual. Doors, doors and trap doors are always what I want to see most because, you know, they take their time and they, they put a nice special design on it. So the cherry door, ah, it's the petals. You can tell straight away. It's like a petal, almost looking door. Never got why they textured knockers. Wouldn't it just be cool if they add like door knockers into the game? But anyway, nice looking door, nice looking trap door. This is a good biome. So, how do you find them? Well, you explore. <laughs> Duh. No. So, they generate in meadows, I believe, on mountain sides. So, it has to have, have X or whatever elevation. When I say X, I don't mean coordinate, I mean, you know, math. <laughs> and then you get these nice trees. And I like that they're, they're sticking with the unrudimentary, you know, spawning. In fact, why don't we try growing one and see exactly what type of... You know, designs we can end up with because there are obviously some straight up and then there's some curvy and wonky and it's just that that sort of dynamicism just is really really cool yeah so even this compared to the the normal you know if you get a, a big tree for oak this is already nice better because you've got these actual branches that you know you can create some unique patterns with and then it's actually more of a triple tree Ah, oh, I'm going to litter everywhere with these trees. I just like them so much. That one, not so much. This block should kind of be like there. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're definitely getting more creative with it. More flexible, whoever's designing this stuff. And it's good to see. It's, it's nice to have a pattern to work off, but then going with something a bit out of the ordinary is definitely a good choice as well. Anyway, I just want to have something positive to say, because... You've seen my other stuff. I I don't like 120. I like the hidden stuff of 120. The actual game features. It kind of meh to me. It's not. It's not highly impactful. Anyway, cherry cherry blossom grows. Fantastic. So yeah, 